All right, so what we want to do is leave this screen as it is right here, come back to our inbox, and now just click on the billing email from HostGator. And once you click that, we're going to see billing portal link, login name, email address, and password. And what we want to do is copy this password. I'm just going to highlight and copy it. I'm going to remember our login email address. And we want to click on the link that says portal.hostgator.com. All right, now let's log in with our email. Paste the password from HostGator and click login. Great job. All right, now in the upper tabs, click domains. And you'll see the domain name you registered at HostGator right here under my domains. So now click on the gear. It's going to open up this window right here. And now where it says name servers, we can see there's the default HostGator name servers and we need to change these. So click on change. All right. And sorry, this is a little extra work. I really do apologize. We're almost done. And then we can do the fun stuff. All right. So now back in our email, go back to the inbox and open up the your account info email once again, and just copy in your first name server and your second name server. All right. So if you can remember that, then you have a great visual memory. 8498. All right, so I'm just going to paste that in over name server one, our new name server one, and name server two. We'll copy paste it so we know we get it right. Paste that over name server two. Now we're looking good, so let's save name servers. And it's going to take a moment and then confirm our new name servers for us. And that will connect our new HostGator domain name with our new HostGator web hosting. And if it makes you feel good, you can click save again. I know it makes me feel good. All right, let's close this gear section and let's close this window. And let's refresh our domain and see if anything happens. And we're all set. So now HostGator is telling us we're ready to start building and in the next step, we're going to visit the cPanel, where we'll install WordPress. Really great job, guys.